my life. It says I'm live. Can't tell yet. Okay. Yeah, there it is. It is live. It is live. Cool, 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 cool. Um, that's muted. I can see the chat on my phone. And all right. So to anyone that does hop in, this is a test stream. Just gonna be dicking around. I want to see what kind of rates I get, how well this computer and how well my internet holds up. So I'm just gonna play around on Minecraft and talk to myself. If anyone does hop into the chat, um well that's just yeah. I will hopefully be able to see your messages. Um I just want to see what the quality of the audio and video is. I'll probably only be doing this for about 30, 45 minutes. I may go longer. People show up. Um, if we get people in the chat, I'll start talking about what I'm actually doing. Mostly just talking to myself. Uh, I know there's a lot of viewers watching Minecraft and there's a lot of streamers playing Minecraft that I can not hope to hold a candle to. Oh, oh there goes my pants. Oh well, I was using them till I broke anyways. Till, that, till I broke. Till they broke. Um, excuse me for being quiet. I have a family member in the next room sleeping so I'm not talking very loud. Um, I figured out how to make myself louder in OBS, so if you come on stream, I'm quiet, just let me know. It's raining. Uh, hope it's not a thunderstorm. I think I have fire tick off, because this is supposed to be a pretty chill series. Also don't have mobs on, so Ooh. almost lost some carrots. And let's see. Let's go here. Do, do, do. Uh, oh, forgot to put that up. Okay. Do, 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 do. So let's see, let's see, let's see here. Just keep harvesting my wheat farm. <sighs> yeah, fill in some carrots. That's why I do things the way I do. God, I'm so not used to playing with Minecraft sounds on. It's odd that it's so foreign to me, especially considering how long I've technically been playing this game. But I don't think I've played with sounds on in, gosh, years? I think I turned them on a little bit, like, a week or two ago, but just the internet was out, so I was just like, oh, I can't watch YouTube, so I'm gonna listen to the Minecraft music. Which now makes me want to play set a jukebox so I can play the two disc I found. And a sunken treasure. Um Yeah, no one's here. No one is here. I guess this is what happens when you get kind of bored, boring, don't have a following, don't have a stream schedule. Oh well, this is mostly just to see if I can, not necessarily try to gain any sort of following. I may go live tomorrow. I have a list of topics that I need to cover and discuss that I can just keep going with. Do. It's all that harvested. So, yep. Then harvest pumpkins, melons. So don't need to replant these, don't need to worry about doing all that. And I know none of my farms are necessarily maximum efficiency, but they're more just the start of 
getting resources until I can get automation because believe it or not it's actually harder to automate things when you're playing in peaceful and I try to get <laughs> I try to get a decent amount of resources stockpiled before I ever turn it off peaceful because if you do for some reason follow my YouTube channel and, um, I should probably have made some sort of announcement on Twitter and YouTube, so maybe I'd have somebody in here. Which I don't at the moment. In fact... Oh! I have one viewer, so... Wait, does it count myself as a viewer if I have it up on my phone? Or if I have it up on my computer? Does it count me? Let me get off my phone. I think it counts me. Well, if you are watching, I'm glad you're here. If not, um, if it's just me talking to myself. Sorry. Anyways, I took Twitch off my phone to see if that fixes that. So, forgive me if I don't immediately notice that you've messaged me. Um, hopefully I can get that fixed after Christmas. Hopefully. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> I had a second monitor on my wish list that I'm not sure if I'm gonna get, but hey. It's whatever. Um, if not, I'll sure Christmas money, if I get some cash, I can go get one, hopefully. It won't be sold out. Oh, oh it's already regrown. That's typically the advantage of a lot of this, the way I have it set so, Oh, that's just the potatoes. But for a second, the farmland had dried up. I was like, what in the world? Okay, let's see here. Do, 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 do. My little spawn house that I build in almost every world. I don't typically go more than a hundred or so blocks from spawn, and I think you spawn in when you load up this seed. Okay, that's just the landscape. You spawn in like right here, facing that way. I'll explain what that is later. <laughs> and I'll explain why I built it later. Um, that's right, I was coming in to make melons. And yes, I know there's a better way to do that. I just... I still haven't come to terms with some of the new Minecraft mechanics. When I say new, I mean like the ones that have shown up in the past like four or five years because they weren't a thing when I first started playing like they straight up were not so I have a hard time remembering things like the recipe book and stuff like that because when I first started playing you still had to go look up all the recipes online if you didn't want to spend like 30 minutes guessing what the recipes for heck just stone slabs. Like, if you didn't have it memorized, which when you first started playing the game, you didn't, you didn't have it. Oh, God. Okay, let's fix that. <laughs> that is way too loud. Um, mobs, 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 mobs. Friendly creatures. Let's turn them down. Like I say, I don't... I do not... I'm doing that. Let me... Check and see. Huh. Maybe it's how I'm looking at it on Twitch. It may count me as a viewer. But yeah, it shows. Dang. My image quality is a whole lot better than when I first tried streaming about a year or two ago. It's back. Okay. That's a lot more bearable. Let's see here. Let's put the wheat there. I'm stop piling up the food before I try and make these farms actually work. And um, for those of you who aren't familiar with that, I guess they got out of the little pen down there. But the way these farms work is that they work on entity entity cramming. Um, I learned them off of a video by Shulkercraft on YouTube. There's a hopper directly under that that has water placed on top of it. You got a four square of blocks there. You have a hopper. You have a hopper coming out here that leads into this chest here. They used a single chest. I used, I'm using a double. So I have the extra space. 
basically as you breed them up and I will show you in a moment how that works as you breed them up that would explain why the eggs are there that would be from the entity cramming probably seeds are filled up but as you get the um once the entity cramming starts and have them grab just so let me grab that seven wheat because that will give me at least three more cows okay cool so yep we see you just saw one die you get the experience from breeding them so it doesn't matter and I'm still working on getting enough ch uh, sheep and pigs going to do that for it to work um, the chickens I've just been throwing eggs in there I haven't been feeding them <laughs> but the eggs are working in fact let's just uh, have a way to get up there hold on it's kind of embarrassing that I've come back to streaming in my arm my armor that I've been waiting to break breaks and um so talking about the data packs that's probably what I need to do talking about the data packs I have installed the um, main one is MCR's Reborn series. Um, if you look at Planet Minecraft, you will find them. It is under the 1.16.4 data packs. And I have the armor overhaul on, which allows me to craft armored elytras and have mixed up armors. I haven't had a chance to play with it too much. Do. It is peaceful, but I still make a point to sleep when I can. But, um, there's an enchanting overhaul. Like I said, I haven't had a chance to mess with any of it because I haven't made myself a smithing table yet because I am lazy and I've just been enjoying just playing Minecraft. I do that way too often and playing around with some of the 1.16 mechanics that I don't get to enjoy in a lot of other versions of Minecraft that I do play. Um, such as Sky Factory and the like. So, yeah, you have all this here, and I got my auto bone meal little farm here. So, put all this in here. Yep. Oh, so that's what it sounds like going in the composter. But, yeah, that's just all going to go in here. Put that in there. <laughs> put that in there. Um, so, that's just all going to go in here. And then I got this much bone meal. That's like my entire stock of bone meal pretty much. And then this is kind of how I do it. When I come back, whatever is fully, I think just goes straight in here. I just do not bother with it beyond that. Um, I don't have a use for the sweet berries right now, and I know the pumpkins can be made into pumpkin pies, and I have all the resources to start making pumpkin pies, which is a more efficient way to get bone meal. I just want peaceful, I don't need food yet um, see I got eggs I got the pumpkins out there got all the sugar so I have the resources I just keep forgetting to do it let's put the leather and stuff there yep I've killed a lot of wandering traders rich every one of them that has spawned let's see I don't know why I carry a sword but it's just a good habit to maintain if you're going down mining at all see I have meant to take hose with me because I have sponges I went about a good 700 blocks out that way there's an ocean monument that I kind of sort of raided it was more luck of the draw that I actually successfully got anything out of it I was about to give up and I happened to just drag I went to the very top and just happened to dig straight down into the sponge room because it was at the very top of the monument any of you guys ever get that Let's see it's there yep no you save the language oh wow that is a old set of rules kilobits just went down is my stream quality still good I guess so whoa Okay, remind me to actually, before I tab out, do that. Anyways, I have some elevators down into my mine. This takes me down to Y equals 11. So this is my down. See the magnum blocks down there? And this is my up. Can't really see it, but there's soul sand down there. And the reason I actually brought this all the way up to the surface, because it used to be just up to the seafloor, 
but I saw a dolphin get trapped in the down elevator one day and die, and I felt bad. I felt really bad. So I built it all the way up, and this is actually, I just did this today. I built it all the way up, and I was like, yeah, so no more dolphins can get in, and I built a fence so they can't, like, jump in here. Let me show you all something really cool. So I go down in here. Obviously, I don't have to worry about breathing. Make sure I'm crouching so I don't, you know, yeah, so I don't take damage down at the bottom. And then, we. This sends you so fast that you take damage when you get to the top. <laughs> um, I actually gave, did like two hearts to me earlier when I first did it. So it was a interesting little experiment. So yeah, I've been uh I've been digging. A lot of digging. And the reason for digging the way I am oh stream is really far behind me. Is that normal? Is that normal? Or is that just some my kilobits? And so I'm doing a lot better than I used to. That's still way far behind me. Anyways, let me go grab the rest of my stuff I need. That is not the chest I'm looking for. This is the chest I'm looking for. That, grab this shovel. Uh, this shovel. Wet sponge stack. Dry sponge stack. Bucket. Um, doo -doo. And then this should be... Ooh, this is more cobblestone than I thought, so let's get rid of... Actually, no, I was starting to store some of the excess cobblestone in here. Okay, cool, 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 cool. That's right. I'd forgotten for a moment. So let's see. Let's take all of this. That. And take these. Put them in here with my diamonds. As the total accumulated wealth of my diamonds, because I currently only get one. So you may be asking, you're using a stone pickaxe, how are you getting diamonds? That. <laughs> Speaking of which, I need to go up and smelt some more iron and make some more iron pickaxes. And once my chest plate breaks, I'll be replacing the iron armor. Because it's going to break before the golden helmet, so... That's just what I've found in some ocean ruins before... before I got to the monument. So let's see, let's go here. And let's just get to mining. So let's just mine and chill out and maybe I can actually be a somewhat decent streamer. Again, this is mostly just a test stream to test how everything's going. I really should have shown you those other two buildings that were the farms. Uh, yeah, that may have been the smart idea. Fact. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh wow, my stuff went up. Cool, 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 cool. Um. Dance me in. Well, you were supposed to. Hold on. Let me see if I can get the. Yeah, it's supposed to be. I have the low latency stuff done. Body auto close. Yes, I know it's buffering. Let's see here. Um. Yeah. Still saying I have one viewer. So my output rate's pretty good. Let's see what time is it? 7:29. I'm gonna give it another. 30 minutes because I also get these as recordings because I have OBS set to record all streaming. So, let's see here. Oh, yeah, and to kind of explain the reason I was back up at the top is because I was actually down here mining again to get redstone for the two farms that are up top. That again, one of them's what I finished today. So, yeah, one of them I just truly finished. I'll go back up top and show you once I get this lane sort of. Oh. 
This is why you carry a water bucket when you're mining, folks. Well, it's half the reason. The other is if you're gonna mine straight down, use it to save yourself. I actually gotten pretty good at that. Watch the next time I go to do it on stream, I'm gonna fail miserably. I've been jinxed it. Let's see. Let's go up. Alright, let's go out this way. Whoop. Wrong way. If you walk in, I gotta stay straight. It'll take me out here. I'm gonna go show you what all these other farms are and actually explain what everything is. So this is my house. It's supposed to look like a flame. I'll turn around and show you once we get over to this bridge. I'm not used to being able to walk over the um, crops over there because that's something I did earlier this week. But yeah, it's supposed to look like a torch flame. Yeah, kind of worked. This is a tree farm, uh, specifically for dark oak and spruce trees. Mostly spruce, that's what I use. See, I got a bunch of spruce logs sitting here, sticks, spruce saplings. Um, I made the mo bone meal farm to be able to make that, actually be able to use this because you set up the saplings and then you bone meal them. Obviously, steak and leather, pork chops, um, wool, kind of until I can get an iron farm going so I can actually make a sheet, make enough shears to have a proper wool farm. This is my wool slash lamb chop farm. This is my egg farm. I'm probably also gonna get feathers and stuff. Mint. God, that is loud. This is my cobblestone generator. So. I mean, I kind of don't need any more cobblestone, but when I first built it, I did, so... Yeah. This is probably not going to get that much use. <laughs> but, who knows, there may be a point where I don't want to mine for all my cobblestone, and I just want just cobblestone. So I do this, considering how much cobblestone I've thrown in lava. This is my kelp farm. Like I mentioned sort of kind of before, none of my farms are really max efficiency but they're mostly my own design. I took the basic kelp farm design, and I, the collection system's mine, and I have, this is the kelp I sent to my composter, this is my kelp I'm turning into dried kelp to use for my furnace. Still working on building that up. There's the furnace system I use to convert kelp into dry kelp. Sugarcane farm, that is, here's the reason the sugar came and kelp farms are so inefficient. They're tied to the same redstone. I did this for efficiency sake and for space efficiency. I built the kelp farm and I built the sugar cane farm right to its back and then I kind of didn't have a choice. So the sugar cane farm is a little bit less efficient than it should be. This should actually be my most efficient farm, but because it's tied to the kelp farm, it's my least efficient. Well, one of my least efficient. And, you know, standard drawback of sugarcane farms. You get some sugarcane that falls right there. And really, I should have done something similar to what I did. Wait, is that a wandering trader? Is there a wandering trader around here? So I just heard what sounded like a villager fall. Is there a wandering trader on top of one of these buildings that fell? Uh, no, he's alive. Why? I don't have emeralds. Okay, that would actually be useful. I could I could turn that into a lot. This is the only thing that would be useful to me. I have a pod soul generator in the spruce farm. If I wanted to, I could take all of that out. But I don't have silk touch. I could take all that I don't need pod soul. I also don't need any more leads. I have ten of them. Ugh. Anyways, here's my bamboo farm. So, here's something that I actually did not know. If you want to take a redstone output, and I may be preaching to the choir here, but if you want to take a redstone output from the back of an observer and use it to turn off a redstone torch in order to be able to take the signal down to a bunch of pistons, and you're wanting to use this type of setup, then you need to take repeaters 
and set them to two ticks. Doesn't work with just one tick. And you can't just take just redstone out. I tried both. I actually went to redstone testing world, like I should have to begin with. And um yeah, so now the bamboo farm works and I got it wrapped all the way around. Let me show you what this looks like from the inside. Oop. Ouch, my ankles. I know that was severely delayed. <sighs> Right. Here's the bamboo farm. So something just went off. I'm not sure if it's the sugar cane or bamboo or something. Oh, yeah, bamboo just went off. And just toss that out. So push it all out. They push it into the edges here, and they have a line of hoppers because I couldn't get it to just circle around into one hopper effectively without just making it a pond. Um, this area is not big enough to give me the whirlpool. I tried, trust me, I spent way too much time trying. I even like tried lowering parts of the uh, basin, I guess, here. Tried lowering parts of it just to see if that would work, and no, it just didn't. And um, one of the big inefficiencies about the bamboo farm here is that bamboo is actually a lot better if you have flying machines going back and forth and if you have um, let's see flying machines going back and forth what was the other thing I was about to say oh and have like hopper mine carts going under it and collecting and moving stuff but it's like eh, I wanted I wanted a design that was mostly my own the redstone's not very creative um but you know it it's mine it's mine I am at some point going to take all of this sand and replace it with dirt. So I thought about doing the same with Joker Cane Farm, so that way it's not a gravity block. And then I'm going to put a rail under it with a hopper minecart that gets sent. It's not going to include like this block here, but it's going to get sent around all the way around, back and forth. It's just going to take that or maybe two of them, one that gets sent out here and unloads and gets sent out here. I'll put it out the back here, all the redstone or get like sent out and then pulled into the middle so it doesn't have to unload too far from the chest because if you go down here here's the collection system so I just took all this out maybe an hour ago and there was actually a good bit of faffing about before the stream I had a good 30 minutes where I was getting OBS linked back up to Twitch and everything, get my Twitch reset back up because it's, again, been a while since I've actually been involved with my Twitch and things like that. So, this is kind of this is about maybe two hours worth of it. And as long as I'm working in within like 16 chunks of this, and this is all in the spawn chunks anyways, but so as long as I'm working within like 16 chunks of this, all of this is growing and all of this is working. I think that's my render distance. What's my render distance set at? Oh. <laughs> Did the wrong thing. Uh, let's see. Options. Video settings. Yeah, 16 chunks. That's what I thought. Back to game. All right. And then the bamboo here is a fuel source for all of this. And then that's what fuels this, and obviously, let's see how much kelp. Dear lord. So I do have some dried kelp in here. Yeah, I knew at least one of these was going to be odd. Okay, so it was this one. Don't know how that works. Hmm. Yeah, but the bamboo acts as the fuel for that. I get the dried kelp. I'm going to make dried kelp blocks. Excuse me, I'm trying to burp, and it's not really working. And yeah, my stream is still way behind me. Still have one viewer. Hmm. Again, even if it's just me, I guess, but if it is someone else, thank you for watching and tuning in for a stream that is mostly going to be in soon. Is there a way to tell when the stream started? Is there a way for me to tell when the stream started? Yeah, oh well, whatever. Hi. Yeah, I may turn down the passive mobs sounds here in a bit. Do, 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 do. 
do. But eventually what this is going to be is the dried kelp is going to replace the coal in these furnaces. And eventually I'm going to use it. I'm going to make basically two super smelters. One that's going to be a line of smokers that uses bamboo to dry kelp. And then I'm going to store all the dried kelp and then I'm going to manually have to craft all that up because base Minecraft, um, this is mostly vanilla. The data packs just allow some, just add some extra crafting recipes. They don't really do much for combat and the like. Excuse me one second while I take a sip of my drink. All right, they don't do much for anything like combat or anything. They're just crafting. So, well, let's see. I think it's this one, and it's the last page. Oh, nope, second to last page. Boop. Perfect. Oops, wrong box. Wrong chest. Wait, wait. Okay. I think I overlooked something. Oh, that was an all-night thing. Okay. Anyways, um, my nether portal is way over there because I found a ruined nether portal when I was leveling all this out. I just saw it out of the corner of my eye. I was taking up all the sand over here and creating space for all these um, farms and everything and just trying to survive. Because we can kind of spawn out here on a little tiny island and then all that. Like Realistically speaking, I should have gone like maybe 500 blocks that way or 500 blocks that way. Because there's a jungle, good 700 blocks in that direction. There's a taiga biome, a good 500, 400 in that direction. Um, there's a desert somewhere, I think, up that direction. Same place that the jungle is, because I need... I know that because I've looked it up on the biome finder, too. So I can eventually go get cactus, so I can set up a cactus farm. I also know that there's some villages... I think it's towards positive X, towards negative Z, towards positive Z. Somewhere in like, uh, it's somewhere towards negative or positive X, but it's like, I want to say it's negative Z, positive X direction. I don't know. I don't know. Right, right now it's kind of throwing me off because I'm not looking at the plate. Oh. You hate to see it. You really hate to see it. Anyways, I also love the fact that I can, um, one, dry sponges off in the nether, and two, I can dig them up with hose. That is, that is possibly my favorite game mechanic since I actually took some hose with me to the um, monument to be able to pick that stuff up. That was just awesome. Because I remember trying to go sponge farming in 1.15, and that was just that—that that was just hell. It was just hell because you had no way to pick up sponges faster. And then also, as far as my plans for this world, I'm eventually going to make a witch farm. I may make a creeper farm, but considering I can get gunpowder from witches, I could also get gunpowder from gas, and eventually I'm going to need gas farm, because I, I really want to play with like all the mechanics of Minecraft in this particular world. I want to play with brewing, I want to play with enchanting and how to get the best enchants, I want to play around with the data packs obviously I have installed um, in my... and I just want to kind of interact with the world a bit more and interact with redstone I basically want to just go all in on this world and I want to create at least one of every farm they don't have to be the most efficient and in fact a lot of them I'm probably going to be taking um, current designs that was a really stupid idea yep you know when you can see something about to happen <laughs> that's what that felt like it's just like yep there we go <laughs> anyways um, let's see, I want to do one of every farm, may not be most efficient, but I want to come up with close to my own designs, I want to kind of, I may take other people's designs, tweak them a little bit, and just kind of, you know, just mess around, maybe add a clock or something, like I was originally going to make a clock, figure out how many, like the average ticks of 
uh, bamboo and sugarcane and kelp and like tie them all together with one redstone clock and then oh yeah I actually remember earlier I said that I was going to embarrass myself by failing to do it on stream because I was talking about <laughs> that's right um but I was thinking of like you know what that may actually be the better idea take out the observers and just have the pistons on a redstone clock that may be the better that may make it a lot more efficient but that's so I can you I can at least use the repeaters for the um <sighs> Yeah. It's doable. It is doable. It's just a matter of whether or not I want to do it. Make a redstone clock and how big would it need to be do I want to make two of them one f because redstone clocks can be pretty laggy do I want to make two of them or do I want to make one of them how do you even make a redstone clock because there's a hopper clock there's the observer clock which is wait that's not what I need then there's the um There's just a pulse extender. That could act as a clock. I think I would need a T flip flop for that. That's what it's called. I mean, I have target blocks, so that makes if I remember correctly, T flip flops are a lot smaller now. After target bots got introduced in 1.16, so. Hmm. Now I also need to make sure that it's actually. You know what? I may make a um, module for my bamboo. I may make a module for my sugarcane and my kelp farms next to my um, bamboo farm in my creative world. So next time you see this, you may be looking at a. I need an iron farm. I need to see if iron golems work. I, I need to see if iron golems spawn and work correctly in iron farms and peaceful. Or I need just need to go find the um, iron farm used by Il Mango uh, of the Sidecraft server in his peaceful challenge. Because you know that man had it. You know that man had so many hoppers he had to get. And there's no way a member of the Sidecraft server would ever, ever try and make as many hoppers as he probably needed and all the metal things he probably needed without having some sort of iron farm. So I'm sure there's a peaceful version if I go look at his channel. So I may go do that. And then I can easily... Let's see, iron golems are tied to cat spawning, I think, in Java Edition, which is one I'm playing, so I'm going to have to pay attention to that. Make sure. And make sure that I just go around and clean up cats every once in a while. Yeah. I'm just brainstorming at this point. You can completely ignore a lot of what I'm saying. Um. Unless, of course, uh, yeah, stream is still behind me. Why is that? I think I have an OBS setting wrong here. Hold on. Settings, stream, oh, I need output. Let's see here. Bitrate, quality, profile. Play buffer, no. Why is it... General. I know that there's a reason. I can't remember if it is in OBS or if it is on. That may not have been something to mess with. If it is on OBS, if it is on Twitch, or if it is just the latency of, you know. Why 
why is my Twitch stream behind me? I know it's it should be frozen right now because I'm not on that particular window. Um. Hmm. Oh, it shows me how long I've been streaming because it's a session thing. How do I have 234 views on this Twitch channel? Hmm. <laughs> Forgive me, I'm about to see how long it's behind me, so I'm going to count to 20. And once I'm done counting to 20, I'm going to unmute. All right, so you're gonna hear my voice play back again on the stream because OBS is counting my uh, is capturing my desktop audio. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 14, 15. Ooh, that is six seconds. But that is six seconds behind. Ooh, that is that is not good. That is, ooh, gold. I mean, I mean, I already I already found that piece of gold, but seeing that that was a five aim because gold is probably of all the resources I have collected, not including diamonds, but like of all the like stuff that you would expect to be common at... Oh, I forgot to explain how I'm mining this, why I'm doing this the way I am. Um, I'll explain that in a moment. But of all of the resources I found, gold is probably the least one I found the least of. Um, anyways, allow me to explain why I'm doing this whole three up thing and why I'm just basically wide branch mining like this. Um, Doing this, taking out this big of an area, is the most efficient way to find diamonds, I've heard argued, is the branch method. Looks signed up kind of like this, except it's like every three you dig in, you go to the sides, five, and then you branch mine like that. Um, I think that, that it, there is some truth to that, but... Diamonds spawn from 15 below. So if you look up, it should say... Where's the one talking about the block I'm looking at? Here we go. Wait, hold up. If I'm standing on 11... Oh, that's 14 there. Targeted block is... Ooh. That was supposed to be 15, so I have to, I have to go one up to get to it but I'm trying to be able to see 15 all the way down to 10 Ooh, I'm only ripping out 3 so I can see 11 standing on 11 and 12 should be like my head height and that's 13 but anyways my point still stands my original idea still stands that I can see more. I see what's in 14. I see what's in 11 here, or in 10 here, when it comes to iron, gold, diamond, redstone, lapis. I see where all of those resources are because you see I got iron here in the ceiling. I got iron there. I got lapis there. You see the redstone deposits. It's just, and then I mine out the stuff that can't be taken out by the stone pickaxe and I'll mine out a giant section so everything's exposed and then I go through with the stone pickaxes mine out the iron, mine out the coal, mine out the lapis because lapis can't be broken with a stone pick pickaxe that is something I learned yesterday but um, mine out all of that and then I'll come through once I have all of that pulled out I'll come through with an iron pickaxe take out all the gold, the redstone, diamonds when I find them and take out all of that and that is how I mine and basically what I've done is I've created four branches that are basically 16 half chunks so about eight chunks long if we were to say that this right here is a chunk 
eight chunks that eight chunks that way. If this was a chunk border, which it's not. Yeah, but like this is about halfway through a chunk, but it, sorry, but if this was a chunk border here. It's about eighteen eight chunks that way, about give or tank half a chunk, but it's basically in eight block increments or six block increments here so each torch is well each torch is seven blocks away so it's probably about seven chunks total um when you actually get down to it six and a half seven seven chunks yeah i think i'm doing the math right now but it's 16 torches and that's because that gives you a light level that when i do turn it off peaceful Mobs won't be spawning, at least on this level. If they do spawn, it'll be because, well, let's see. Uh, they'll be coming from areas from, like, right here, which won't ex have a spawnable area. But it basically keeps everything from spawning down here. Now, this actually gets back to my point I forgot to truly make earlier about my dried kelp. I'm eventually going to use the dried kelp to replace the coal in my furnaces and once I do that um, all the coal that I make all the coal that I find will go to making torches which I know are not the best way to light up areas but hey they're what happens and we are past 45 minutes um, yeah like I said this is just a giant test to see how things went what my um stuff would be and with everything said I think it went well every time I've checked the stream it's been good quality um I think everything's been going good so with that being said I'm going to hop off now I appreciate I know I was supposed to update everybody but without anybody here it's just kind of like uh, why why try and talk about updates when <laughs> there's nothing to update um anyways everybody I will see you all next time. I may not stream again until this summer, but I just wanted to test how stable it was. I may be back on tomorrow. I may not. Whatever. But I will work on getting an actual setup put back together, and next time we will, you know, we will play some Minecraft. See ya.